the next view that we can obtain is that which incorporates the left atrium and the aortic valve. So what we'll need to do for this is stay in the same rotation and continue to fan cranially as we did to obtain the fish mouth. And what we will begin to see is we'll see the aorta coming into view with the three cusps of the aortic valve, sometimes referred to as the Mercedes-Benz sign. We will also be able to see the left atrium coming into view, and we'll point that out in a moment. So in this view, what we have is the left atrium and the aorta with the three cusps of the aortic valve. What we can evaluate in this view is actually the ratio of the aorta to the left atrium to determine whether or not there's left atrial enlargement. We can also look at the shape of the left atrium and the left atrial appendage or the oracle. In this particular view, this is the left atrium, and this is the left atrial appendage, or the oracle. This should normally appear as a comma shape, as is seen here. So we have the left atrium going down into a comma shape, into the left atrial appendage. And this indicates that the left atrial, it gives an idea that the left atrium is a normal size and shape. However, what we can also do is perform a measurement with the ratio of the aorta to the left atrium. So we'll just do that measurement now. We start on one aspect of the aorta. and measure down through. We then need to measure the left atrium. We stay in the same line and measure through. On some machines it will actually do this calculation for you. However, the normal ratio is less than 1.5 in a normal dog, which is the case in this dog. So this is a normal left atrium to aortic ratio.